I'm going to break down the real effects of oat milk on your health so you can make the best choice for your body. Oat milk has taken the world by storm, and for good reason. It's creamy, it's versatile, and most importantly, it's dairy-free. But with its rising popularity, concerns have also started to arise. Does oat milk really harm your body? That's what we're here to explore today. From allergies to sugar content, we're going to get to the bottom of the oat milk debate. By the end of this video, you'll know whether oat milk is a healthy choice or not. So, let's dive in. Some people swear by oat milk, while others claim it's a ticking time bomb for your health. But what's really going on? Is oat milk a harmless alternative to dairy? Or is it a wolf in sheep's clothing? Common misconceptions about oat milk are plentiful, and we're going to tackle them one by one. We'll separate fact from fiction, and by the time we're done, you'll be an oat milk expert. One of the biggest concerns about oat milk is its allergen potential. Can people with gluten intolerance or celiac disease safely consume oat milk? Or is it off limits? Let's take a closer look. Oat milk is often touted as a healthy alternative to dairy. But what about its sugar content? Some brands pack a whopping 20 grams of sugar per serving. Is that a deal breaker for health conscious consumers? Let's break down what's actually inside a cup of oat milk. Unlike almond or soy milk, Oat milk is known for being higher in carbohydrates, which gives it that creamy, satisfying texture. But there's more beneath the surface than just carbs. Oat milk contains beta-glucan, a type of soluble fiber that can help lower cholesterol. This fiber works by binding to cholesterol in your digestive tract, helping to flush it out of your body, potentially reducing your risk of heart disease. However, yeah, there's a catfish. The higher carbohydrate content might be a concern if you're watching your blood sugar levels, especially if you choose a sweetened variety. And what about protein? Here's where oat milk falls short. Compared to cow's milk or soy milk, it has significantly less protein. So if you rely on milk alternatives as a protein source, this is something to keep in mind. Ultimately, oat milk has its strengths, but it's important to know its nutritional profile so you can make the best choice for your health needs. For some people, oat milk isn't just a creamy delight. It can also be a source of discomfort. If you've ever felt bloated or gassy after drinking oat milk, you're not alone. The culprit is often beta-glucan, a type of soluble fiber found in oats. While beta-glucan is great for lowering cholesterol, it can also ferment in your gut, leading to gas and bloating. Additionally, let's talk about the carbohydrate content. Oat milk is naturally higher in carbs compared to other plant-based milks, and sweetened versions can be even worse. This can lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar, which is something diabetics or those with insulin resistance should be cautious about. Pairing it with a protein or healthy fat might help, but it's something to keep in mind when choosing oat milk as your go-to beverage. So while oat milk has its benefits, it's not the best fit for everyone. Is oat milk good for weight loss? It depends on what kind you choose and how you use it. Unsweetened oat milk is generally lower in calories than regular cow's milk, making it a lighter choice for those watching their calorie intake. Its creamy texture makes it a popular addition to coffee, smoothies, and even cereals without the heaviness of dairy. However, the story changes when you opt for flavored or sweetened varieties. Many store-bought options contain added sugars that can quickly turn your healthy choice into a high-calorie indulgence. A single cup of sweetened oat milk can pack as much as 20 grams of sugar, leading to an unnecessary spike in your daily calorie count. This extra sugar can make weight management more challenging, especially if you're not paying attention to portion sizes. For those aiming to lose weight or maintain a balanced diet, choosing unsweetened oat milk is a better option. Pairing it with fiber-rich foods like chia seeds or nuts can also help stabilize blood sugar and keep you fuller for longer. Remember, Oat milk can be part of a healthy diet, but like any food, it's all about moderation and making smart choices. Let's talk a bit more about sugar and blood sugar control when it comes to oat milk. One of the biggest issues here is the glycemic index. Oat milk, especially the sweetened versions, can have a high glycemic index, meaning it can cause your blood sugar to spike rapidly after consumption. Even if you opt for unsweetened oat milk, it still contains naturally occurring sugars from the oats themselves, which can be problematic for those watching their blood sugar levels. If you're diabetic or managing insulin resistance, this is definitely something to be mindful of. Choosing unsweetened varieties is a step in the right direction, but it's also a good idea to pair oat milk with foods rich in protein or healthy fats. 
This combination can help slow down the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream, providing a more stable blood sugar response. So, while oat milk can be part of a balanced diet, it's important to be aware of its impact on blood sugar, especially if you have specific health concerns. If you're worried about additives and hidden sugars in store-bought oat milk, why not give homemade oat milk a try? It's easier than you think. All you need are oats, water, and a blender. By making your own, you skip the emulsifiers, thickeners, and added sugars that many commercial brands include to achieve that creamy texture. However, keep in mind that homemade oat milk might not have the same richness or the added nutrients like calcium and vitamin D found in fortified versions. It's a bit of a trade-off, but making your own oat milk gives you full control over the ingredients, making it a cleaner and healthier option for many. Plus, it's a fun way to customize your drink exactly to your taste. While oat milk has become a popular choice for many, there are certain groups who should approach it with caution. If you follow a strict gluten-free diet, be aware that not all oats used in oat milk are certified gluten-free. Cross-contamination can occur during processing, which can be a problem for those with celiac disease or severe gluten sensitivity. Additionally, if you're on a low-carb or ketogenic diet, oat milk might not be the best fit. It has a higher carbohydrate content compared to other plant-based milks, which can quickly add up and impact your daily carb limit. Whether you're managing a specific health condition or just looking to reduce carbs, it's crucial to read labels carefully and choose a product that aligns with your dietary needs. So, is oat milk a health hero or a hidden villain? The truth lies somewhere in the middle, and it all comes down to your personal health goals and dietary needs. If you're seeking a creamy, dairy-free alternative that's kinder to the environment, oat milk can be a fantastic option. It offers benefits like cholesterol-lowering beta-glucan and a great texture for your coffee or smoothies. However, if you're someone managing blood sugar levels, watching your carb intake, or needing a higher protein source, oat milk might not be your best choice. Be mindful of what's on the label. Look out for added sugars, potential allergens, and missing nutrients. Ultimately, knowing what your body needs and making informed choices is what matters most. Oat milk isn't just a tasty alternative to dairy. It also offers some impressive digestive health benefits. One of the key players in oat milk is its soluble fiber, specifically a type called beta-glucan. This fiber is known for its ability to help lower cholesterol, but it also plays a significant role as a prebiotic. Prebiotics are substances that feed the beneficial bacteria in your gut, promoting a healthier microbiome. A healthy gut microbiome is essential for more than just digestion. It can help strengthen your immune system, regulate your metabolism, and even influence your mood. The good bacteria in your gut thrive on beta-glucan, helping to balance the gut ecosystem and improve overall digestive health. However, while beta-glucan is beneficial, it can also cause some people to experience bloating or gas, especially if their digestive system isn't used to a high fiber intake. If you're new to oat milk or trying to increase your fiber intake, it's a good idea to start with small amounts and gradually increase as your body adjusts. This way, you can reap the digestive benefits of oat milk without the discomfort. In the end, it all comes down to making informed choices about what you put in your body. Oat milk can be a healthy choice, but it's not without its drawbacks. You can also check out my other video that talks about nine amazing health benefits of guava leaves. We want to hear from you. Share your experiences below in the comments below and like this video. Remember to turn on the notification bell.